potentially unwanted programs or PUPs or programs that you don't really want on your computer. Oftentimes they're installed as an add-on to something else. Uh, you might be trying to install like you know, a version uh, image editing software, like a, something like a Power or PowerPoint or something like Photoshop. Okay, and then as you're installing that, it might be an open source piece of software. That company would be paid by another company like McAfee or whatever to install or add another installation as part of the installation process. So if you're using Windows, you're going through your setup window, you're trying to hit next as fast as possible to not waste your time. And you're gonna see like a little checkbox that says, also add this search extension or also add you know XYZ search tool to your browser. And if you don't check uncheck that, you might get that extension. All of a sudden now your browser has some little widget added on that you don't really want, it's annoying to you, it's kind of a pain to get rid of and you might let it go for a while, maybe a month or two, until it becomes so annoying that you work on steps to get rid of it. Uh, sometimes these can be benign. Sometimes these can be malicious. Uh, a good example of this is uh, Bonsai, Bonsai Buddy. Back in the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, there was this program called Bonsai Buddy. It was this like desktop helper tool. And what it would do was it was supposed to, it's this little purple gorilla that was animated on your desktop and it tried to help you with all different tasks, it tell you jokes and stuff. And really the purpose of this tool was to harvest your credentials, steal personal information from you. So it would ask you things like, oh, I just want to get to know you. And this purple gorilla would be asking you for your address, your phone number, and your name. And, and a lot of people bought into this and they gave that information. That was being stored by the creators and the creators were just selling that information to companies for advertisements. So that's that's a great example of a potentially unwanted program. If you want to look up Bonsai Buddy, go look it up. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But for the exam, you just need to know probably this much. You don't need to go into you know an ar archaeological dig on the pups of the past. Anyway, fileless viruses are viruses that use another program to perform their actions. They don't rely on files. They don't embed files in your uh, file system. They just perform all their actions when another program is running. Now you might ask, how is this different than a Trojan? Well, I would consider a fileless virus a type of Trojan because when you install a, uh, that program, usually you get that fileless virus if you get it from an illegitimate source. It's a little different though because fileless viruses don't necessarily need to be downloaded with the program. They can be installed on your computer separately and then they would just wait until that program is in use to perform their actions. For example, you have fileless viruses that work with Microsoft Word. You might not necessarily download Microsoft Word or a version of it with a fileless virus with a Trojan. Because remember, Trojans are always downloaded with a legitimate program. But what you can do is you get a fileless virus on your uh, system and it would just wait until you use Microsoft Word to maybe make an essay or whatever and then it would start using its actions, it would start using Microsoft Word as its mechanism.